Hey everybody, it's Miss Marie and it is week eight. Week eight already. Does that mean we've been questing all summer? It sure does. So we're at our last week and we are talking about campfires. I'm gonna read from Matthew 5, 14 to 16. You are the light of the world, like a city on a mountain, glowing in the night for all to see. Don't hide your light under a basket. Instead, put it on a stand and let it shine for all. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly father. And that's what we've been talking about this summer is seeing Jesus in the simple things and understanding that sometimes it's not huge things that you need to do to reflect the light of Jesus. And he asks us to shine our light in the darkness. If we are a follower of him, that means we reflect his love and light into the world. We also do this through our actions and our attitude in how we treat others, it's really important, and in how we navigate the world and the choices that we make. In fact, we should shine so brightly that people ask why? What's different? Why do you do that? Why do you think that way? Why was your reaction that way? And this opens doors easily, organically, to talk about Jesus and talk about your faith. And it will happen. And if one tiny match, if that's who we are, if we're the match, and one tiny match can frighten away the darkness, think of what a campfire could do. We hope that by now, some of the restrictions are lifted enough that you can share your light with friends and neighbors. So if you're able, invite others to join you around the fire. Let the flames of the fire warm the atmosphere and you can practice reflecting the light of Jesus with those around you through conversations and build those relationships with those people. Crackling wood and beautiful flames, ah, the roar of a beautiful campfire. Get the wood and start up a fire to enjoy the warmth with those around you. So when I think of the beauty of the fire and all those memories of summer camp that I mentioned to you over in week one, when we were talking about stargazing, I think of, huh, you got it, marshmallows. So I encourage you at this time, head over to your quest bag. Now remember, if you don't have a quest bag, no worries, head over to our website, hanovermissionary.com slash summer dash move in and what you need will be there now grab that bag of yummy marshmallows and grab the card that's with it and it's time to toast a lovely sugary snack now personally i love burnt marshmallows they are my favorite do not toast it lightly and gooey i want it burnt to a crisp and usually a lot of people make fun of me in a very nice and loving way as i was doing this quest i realized why i like burnt marshmallows one i love the taste so there's that but i think i conditioned myself to eat burnt marshmallows because i could get them faster and i probably could get more marshmallows so I've learned something about myself on this quest. Okay, that's a little bit about me and my love of marshmallows. And I guess we're done questing, or are we? You know what, I'd love to send you out on a hmm, forever quest, a forever quest to continue to find Jesus in the simple things. I have absolutely loved questing with you this summer, and I hope you've had a little fun too. And I just wanted to say a big thanks to some of the people that have helped me on my quest. My daughter, Emma, has been my camera person. My family has been so encouraging. Alana, you have rocked the video editing. And all those others that have come across my path during this time and just said, hey, we're really excited 
see what you're going to do this summer. God has placed you in my path during that time through all of this questing. Questing sometimes isn't super easy, but we've made it and I have had a blast. Thanks for an amazing questing summer and I look forward to questing some other time. Until then, this is Moving with Miss Marie. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Those delicious, man, they're beauts. Mm.